Probably not gonna hold on to this one. Uh, definitely keeping this one. Gotta give this to my, my son. Hey, what's up guys? I was cleaning out my closet this weekend, getting ready for the baby, my office closet, and I found a gem. This web scale, hyper-converged infrastructure, technical chalk talk. This is a classic. This is what we used to give our partners. And I still don't think there's a better way to explain HCI than this. I'm gonna give you the two minute version today and we're starting right now. All right, when we, when we think of an enterprise data center, here's what we think of. Server, network, storage. We call this three tier architecture. The modern data center does not look like this anymore. And we probably have Google to thank for that. When they were building out the data center in the early 2000s, they ran into three major issues with this kind of architecture and that forced them to do to create something better. The first issue was performance related. So if I had all my applications living up here on the server and the data associated with those applications was living down here on the storage device, a bottleneck was created right here. It's like sitting in a traffic jam with your Model S. It doesn't matter how fast you can go zero to 60 when you got a bunch of cars in front of you and stand still. Scalability was the second major issue. If you're Google, you gotta be able to scale infinitely and you can't be spending time to rip and replace sands out of your infrastructure because guess what that's going to cause downtime so for that reason they could not build their data center relying on this kind of three-tier architecture and the third one probably goes without saying but the complexity of this three-tier architecture it required too many special guys specialty resources to manage all these different tiers so what did Google do? They eliminated two thirds of this complicated stack, the storage and the storage network, and they created an operating system that would tie all these servers together and create one big pool of storage and compute. And that was called the Google File System, GFS. And in fact, if you're watching this video right now on YouTube, this video is hosted on an application running on GFS. By creating GFS, they eliminated the bottleneck because the storage network was no longer needed. They eliminated the scalability issues because now they could just rip and replace servers without downtime. They could add as many servers as they wanted to and grow out that pool of compute and storage. And the environment became much simpler to manage. I think they posted they have one admin managing 25,000 servers. Fast forward to 2019 and this type of data center architecture is now known as HCI. And many enterprise accounts and Global 2000 accounts are building out their data centers now using the same kind of technology. And in fact, they've taken it a step further and they've added virtualization into that stack. So essentially they've turned a four tier data center, virtualization, server, network storage into a single platform where all that stuff is converged with virtualization built in. If you like this content, please like the video. Make sure you sub to the channel. Every month we, put, we do a $250 gift card giveaway to a subscriber of this channel and we announce it on Twitter. This month's uh, $250 gift card winner is Ross Davies. So Ross, send me an email and I will send you your gift card. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Great section on how to deadlift in here. Squat section is meh, so-so. Hey. <laughs>